Hey guys, Lewis here, and I am back with another video, and as the title suggests, it is going to be an installation guide for the newly updated A4 mod. Now, the installation of this mod can be a little tricky, uh, it goes quite in depth of all the different things that you need to download and then install, uh, and then run, so this is probably going to be quite a long video and you're going to want to play, want to play close attention to what I'm saying, I'm also going to drop some hints and tips I know about installing mods as we go. Um, so I should just point out that this is for Mac only and it is for Minecraft 1.0.0. As you can see the open mod has been updated. Uh, version 1.03 of all these new things uh, and it was released on Christmas Day. As the rumors suggested I did not believe it but apparently it was so. So a lot of people was, uh, a lot of people are excited for it. Also I know that a lot of people are having trouble finding the thread for the new A4 mod because they did create a new thread. Uh, the old one had, I think it was around 700 pages or over a thousand maybe. Uh, and that's now, and this new one is being created and it cannot be found when you Google A4 mod. Um, so I will include all the links that you need to download things from the internet in the description of this video. However, before we get started, I should point out that. If you've not yet seen my tutorial on how to fix a black screen for a Mac, I would recommend you go and see that now because this does take a long while to install, especially if you're new to modding. Um, so you don't want to go through all this process, all of the process, and then find yourself having a black screen because you have not changed your Minecraft settings. So I'll link that video on the screen. Uh, it's just my advice to go and check it out before you try to follow this tutorial. Okay, so jumping straight in, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the AFA thread on Minecraft forums. This will be the first link in the description. We're going to scroll down past all these new screenshots until you see this, where it says click to download in big writing. You're going to want to click that straight away. It will take you to an ad fly page, which is just how the mod creators make money from people downloading it. And you will get a zip file. You want to keep that zip file somewhere you know it is safe and somewhere you'll be around, you'll be able to remember. Um, so yeah, and somewhere you want to put all the different zip files you're going to get because we are going to get six different zip files, and you don't want to be unorganised when installing a big mod like this. Okay, and then we have these other five mods down here. It gives you a list of them and links as well. First one is Mod Loader by Rizigami. So what you're going to want to do now is go to the description again and to open the link for Wizigami's mod thread on the Minecraft forums. Here you will find mod loader and audio mod. So if you just scroll down here until you get to where his mods are listed, you'll see mod loader. You can either download that directly or you can download it through AdFly if you want to give the mod creator a bit of money. And then after you've downloaded that zip file, you want to download audio mod from the same page, just scroll down a little more and you'll find it and you'll have the same options again. So that will be Rizigami's mod page done. Now if we go back to the AFA page, we've now downloaded the AFA and all of Rizigami's mods. Next we need another mod loader, which is updated by Flan. So we're going to go to the third link in the description, which is Flan's mods page. Here's a load of different mods, so we're going to want to look through them. And these are quick links. You'll see, well, I don't know if you can see, but on the side I can see how big the scroll bar is. So these are quick links to get down the page, as there are a lot of videos and pictures which take up a lot of space. So if we click Mod Loader MP, it will bring us down here. And we will see, it says here, installation for the client. Client is single player for 1.0.8, which is the one we need. So we're now going to download that from either AdFly or Mediafire. So we will now have Mod Loader MP. We're going to go back to the top. It takes a while, like I said. And we're going to download Player API. If we click this, you will see here, it says again, Installation Client. We will click this to download another zip file. So we should now have the A4 original, mod loader and audio mod. Uh, I've blanked. <laughs> mod loader MP and player API. 
And then the last one, the five, the six zip file you need is shock API, shock API, um, and you cannot. Well, I haven't found a thread for this mod, uh, so you wouldn't actually need to download this one from the AVA mod page itself. So if you go back to the first link, you'll be taken here, just where you click download a minute ago, and you will see the Shocker PI here by Shocker. You click that link and it will download it directly for you. It's very simple. And you will now have six zip files. We are done with the internet for now, so I am going to minimize this to bring me to my desktop. Just ignore this sticky for now. I have a folder here called AFA, which I've highlighted red to tell me that it's a priority. Not sure if I would forget though. So I'm going to open this, and here you'll see, I downloaded these earlier by the way, just in case you were wondering, the six zip, the six zip files you should have now. They will be called exactly the same, so if they are not, then you've downloaded the wrong files. But what we need to do is unzip these so we can use them, because these are compressed files. In these are compressed folders. Folders are full of lots of things and you don't want to upload that uh, for other people to download. You want something compressed and easy to get, which is what a zip file is. So we need to decompress these so we have the original folder that the mod creator made. So if we go to here, the first one, right click and open with, you will see our program here called the Unarchiver. I would recommend getting this. I'm going to link it in the description the website where you can download it from. It's just a uh, simple to use, easy program that unarchives things like zip files, RAR files, jar files, all these different things. And it does a load of different stuff and it's just really useful. However, if you do not feel like downloading that, there is another solution. The archive utility which comes with Macs, I believe, which you can be which you can use easily to unzip um, unzip these files, it, there's no difference between it, it does the exact same thing but I just feel the NRC does more so it's easier for me. So yeah, we're going to NRC of each of these because it's mine, because my default is set to the NRC I can just double click so we now have folders and you'll see here that I'm organising by kind if I was organising my name, which I think the default is name, it would show up like this, where the folders and the zip files are mixed. But to make it easier to show me what ones are zip files, they're down the bottom, what ones are uh, folders, they're up the top, I click on kind and that sorts uh, this folder by kind. So now I'm going to go to player API, do mod loader, do mod loader MP and do shock API. So you'll see I now have six folders. I'm going to rename these to make it easier for me to know what they are, more organized. I feel it helps a lot. So to use click on the fold folder, press return, enter the text, press return again, and it renames it. So it's audio mod, player, API, Modeler, that's fine. Modeler MP, and then shock PI. Okay, I now know clearly which one of these are. There's no 1.0.0 or version numbers after it. It shows them showing me. I don't need to pay attention to these zip files anymore. It's just these folders.